Good morning, grade four. Today we're going to continue our reading comprehension lesson entitled The Breakfast Quest. So if you remember, Sam and his sister wanted to prepare a special breakfast, which is their granny's famous cinnamon bun. And they went together to uh, Farmer Ray's for them to for them to get eggs. Then when Farmer Ray knew about uh, their uh, cinnamon bun recipe, he smiled slyly, means in a secretive way, and asked them to pack in order to go to Denmark. Right? And there um, they found an enormous cow. They introduced themselves uh, to uh, a cow owner. All right, so this is where we stopped last time. Today we're going to read part two. So let's start. Well, you've come to the right place, says Farmer Lena, spilling some milk from a pail. My butter is the creamiest in the world. Cinnamon buns, you say? She pauses. If it's flour you need, the heartiest wheat I know comes from France. We all ride the cow to the train to France, where we find an amber field of warm, dry grain and meet a French farmer who listens very closely to our plan. Well, you've come to the right place says Farmer Francois, twirling his mustache. My wheat makes the very best flour in the entire world. I grab two arm Cinnamon buns, you say? If it's vanilla you need, the finest vanilla in all the world comes from Madagascar. Come with me. We all hop in his hot air balloon and set off over Africa looking down on a magnificent leopard roaming the plains. In Madagascar, we march through the lush hills. There, we meet Sabine, a vanilla grower, and I tell her the plan. All right, we finished reading the second part of this text. Now, let's start the explanation. All right. Um... The children and the farmer met Farmer Lena, okay? So she told them, well, you've come to the right place, says Farmer Lena, spilling some milk from a pail. Here is a pail. It's a bucket, all right? Where it could be uh, filled with liquid, of course. All right, so they met Farmer Lena and uh, she was spilling some milk from a pail as i showed you and she said my butter is the creamiest in the world so it's full of cream cinnamon buns you say she pauses hmm she was wondering and then she gave a pause she stopped talking if it's flour you need the heartiest wheat I know comes from France. So, this is flour, which is milled wheat, crushed wheat. This is the wheat, which is a grain used to make bread and biscuits, crackers, etc. All right? So, um, she said she has the heartiest wheat. And... Uh, the heartiest wheat comes from France. All right, so the children all rode the cow. We all ride the cow to the train to France where we find an amber field. All right, amber. Amber is a yellowish stone. Here, um, the color of the field was amber. Okay. Amber field, dry grain, and meet a French farmer who listens very closely to our plan. I suppose it's clear. So the farmer said, well, you've come to the right place, says Farmer Francois. This is Farmer Francois. He was twirling, it means turning or rotating 
right? His mustache. He said, my wheat makes the very best flour in the entire world. I grabbed two armfuls. Okay, so he grabbed, he took two armfuls. Cinnamon buns, you say? If it's vanilla you need, hmm, vanilla. The, the beans of vanilla are very known for flavoring ice cream or milk or yogurt, okay? So this is the bean of vanilla. Um, so the finest vanilla in all the world comes from Madagascar. Madagascar is a place, let me show you on the map. It's a country in Africa. Here is Madagascar. This is the continent of Africa. Okay, so the best vanilla comes from this country. All right. Let's continue. We all hop means a jump in his hot air balloon. This is the hot air balloon. And set off means begin our journey over Africa. Looking down on a magnificent means amazing leopard. I suppose everyone knows the leopard, this animal that looks like a, a tiger with spots. Roaming the plains, all right, roaming, turning, uh, wandering around the plains let me show you the plains which are large areas of green land but you cannot see a lot of trees without a lot of trees that was our uh, reading lesson for today thank you for listening very carefully if you have any questions you can always communicate with me on eschool bye bye grade four